right guys, first Rome video. We made it, it took us all day because we suck at planning. But you know what, we made it and that's more important. So this is where we're staying, in some like plaza thing. Gates opening, we're gonna go get some food. So naturally the first thing you do when you're in, when you're in Rome, you get Turkish food. <laughs> that's exactly what we're doing. Oh, it's Turkish Italian fusion, so we're gonna see no, what the fuck's going on. It just says Turkish and Italian. <laughs> like, okay, well, no fusion, or just one or the other. Just, yeah. Yeah. Here's the neighborhood. Very interesting. It looks kind of like Athens, but not as depressing. <laughs> uh, and it's also not as hot, which is also a good thing. Um, we just figured out, too, we are staying like within walking distance of like the old city center, so. Just go, we're gonna do that probably tomorrow or the next day. I don't know. All right, guys, we stopped at a restaurant and we're doing the Italian course thing. So you got to do like courses, right? First course, I got something called a fan, fauna, which I'm gonna go got carbonara. After we eat this, I mean, after we smash this, uh, we're gonna get another main course. All right, guys, finish the first course, smash that shit. Second course, all right, I got some lamb, some potatoes. John Michael got salmon and cabbage or something going down in my butter. All right, guys, it's day two in Rome. Um, this is the first video I'm taking today, and it's 8 p.m. Uh, today we decided to do nothing. Um, the only thing we did was do laundry at a laundromat and eat a really good burger. Oh, yeah, burger. I ate a really good burger. Um, I rank it number two out of the burgers we've had in Europe. Uh, the number one burger we've ever we've had so far is in Vesh, uh, the Netherlands. It was crazy. Uh, anyways, this is the this is now. All right, we got we got beers and we're chilling in the room, and that's pretty much it. Tomorrow we're gonna do all the stuff you would expect us to do. Uh, go look at all the sites, history, all that stuff. So, um, yeah. For, uh, also, it's hot as Fucking here. It's hot in here. Uh, like sweating. Um, so cold beer is like really uh, helping take the edge off here. But um, anyways, see you tomorrow. All right, guys. It's another day. It's exploring day in the city. There's a lot more stuff to look at here than in where we're staying. Uh, we we're gonna go to this burger place, but. It didn't, it wasn't open even though they said they would be open. So, um, we're gonna go find a different burger place to eat at because it's America Day, so we gotta go eat a burger. Okay, guys, we made a pit stop. Um, the restaurant we're gonna get, go to is closed, so we walked down the street, picked a random one. Now we're getting food. Uh, the famous local bread with extra virgin olive oil. It's going down. Happy America Day, by the way. All right, y'all, since it's American, an American meal, right? So we got the barbecue burger with cherry tomatoes <laughs> and, and 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 fries. John Michael's got the shirt on. John Michael, how's your burger? You know, it's not bad. It's good. You know, he's going down. You know, we're about to do with that. Okay, once again, we're bad at planning. So, you know, when Rome, naturally, you go to the Colosseum. So we're going to go to the Colosseum first. So that's, we're closest to that one. Uh, street we are on. If you know the street, let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, we're getting really close. We got medical marijuana in the Coliseum. Back in the day, Julius Caesar definitely was token before he goes to the uh, to the Coliseum, uh, like fights and, sh and, and and plays. Okay, guys, we're at the Coliseum. Uh, it's supposed to be an epic show tonight. Epic. Uh, yes. Okay, guys, we made it to the Coliseum. Uh, we can't go in because we didn't get a ticket and we kind of don't want to get a ticket because It doesn't look that cool on the inside, but we're gonna admire from the outside. We got the Arch of Constantine and we got the, the Coliseum right here. We're gonna figure out how to go down there or over there. We got all those like ruins and stuff All right, we're, we got down to ground level. I think we got the Roman Forum right here Which is like the old political building where uh, Julius Caesar got, you know uh, that's my guess. Um, we're gonna see if we can get a closer of the Colosseum and the Arch of Constantine. All right, guys, we've made it closer. It's pretty epic. Not as epic as Lambeau Field, but it's it's up there. Um, we're about to head over there to the Arch. All right, we got the Arch here. 
I don't know how old it is, but it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Almost as beautiful as the trees. I swear, these are trees from like Africa or something. These do not look native to the Europe whatsoever. And they're all over Rome. They look like, definitely look like they went over to like Egypt or some shit. And they're like, give me that. Give me that tree. Yeah. All right, so we just did all. We did some homework. The Arch of Constantine is 1,700 years old. And that's like almost 2,000 years old. Uh, I can't even comprehend that. All right, y'all. We did not last long in this hot heat. We had to get gelato. So I got strawberry and something called fruity Dabasco. And John Michael got. What'd you get? How is it? It's pretty great. Mine's pretty great too. I would recommend this, but instead of getting fruity Dabasco, I would do lemon and strawberry. Uh -huh. Cheers. All right, guys, we're entering this church, St. Clemente or something. Alright y'all, we're in Rome, we're at this church in Rome, in that church they got a whole bunch of stuff with Jesus on it, how did the Romans kill Jesus and then they started to worship him, that's my question, how, how are you going to kill the man and then worship him, unless I'm getting like my time periods mixed up, I don't know, but that makes no sense to me. Alright we got some ruins down here. Right next to the Colosseum. Uh, the city has been built on top of itself for like thousands of years. The modern building. And we got the old buildings. And we got the really old building. And there's buildings over there on the hill too. Here's my last video. It's because I'm right under it. Uh, looks pretty epic. Fat lines to get in. Everyone. Uh, is in tour groups, they're not solo, because I don't think you can do this solo. Are we trying to go again? Gonna... Guys, we're, we're, we're getting attacked at the mega tour group coming. Oh no, <laughs> help. All right, we're going over here. This looks pretty dope. It's like layers of buildings from all different time periods. Same thing over here, layers, okay. People take on this whole sidewalk. All right guys, we're gonna admire these ruins and stuff from right here because I don't want to pay to get in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, to the one and only Checkpoint Pasta. Yep, you heard it. You've seen it here, folks. All right, this is a big deal. This is where uh, they had the famous pasta standoff in 1967 and it lasted for 40 years. This building is crazy. This is where uh, Checkpoint Pasta was, apparently. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's just a joke, but they had the sign. And we got this obelisk here, or pillar. I should say it's a pillar. It's kind of like the... Uh... All right, y'all, we're actually, we're so intrigued with this. We're gonna walk up it, cause it looks badass. So here we go. This is, this keeps getting more epic and more epic. This fucking Romans popped off at this one. All right, we're going up. We got eternal flames right here. I don't know if you can see them. They got a dude looks like he's from like 1800s on a horse. All right, guys, we made it to the top of somewhere. We're just gonna call it Checkpoint Pasta for the meme. I don't know what that sign was, but it was there. So this is now Checkpoint Pasta. Uh, it's pretty epic over here. I think the Vatican's over there. We're gonna go there tomorrow. All right, ladies and gents, it's another day. July 5. July 4 was yesterday. We had a good America day. We took a shot at Jameson for America. Uh, now we're headed to this church. We're gonna look at it. And then we're gonna look at other stuff later. All right, we got a, we got a pillar here, all right? A victory pillar, and then we got a victory victory building we're gonna go inside all right guys we're at the we're at the basilica of santa maria Mag maggiore and we're gonna go inside 
All right, we're in it. It looks like a palace, like throne room or something. Pretty cool. They're doing like services and shit, so it's like busy today. There's like nuns. And I'm out. I'm said I can't wear a hat, so I had to take it off. Same thing with the Vatican. I think there's a, there's a dress code over there too. But uh, we're gonna hopefully they give us like robes and shit like at the uh, the Turkish mosque. Alright, you can go down there and like pray to something. And then this is their like throne. Uh, we got other stuff over there. We got other stuff over there. Alright, we're in one of the little side rooms here. I don't know what purpose these serve, but it's pretty crazy. This is our uh this is our Vatican warm-up right here. The Vatican's gonna be like this, but like times ten. Alright, we're in another room. Looks pretty dope. I don't know what any of this stuff means, but it looks cool. Maybe I'll learn Italian and, and uh, translate it for you guys. So yeah, that church was cool and everything, but it didn't have Wi-Fi, so I don't like it. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, that church was pretty cool. Like I said, it was like a warm-up for the Vatican. Um, they were gonna make us pay for the museum and down in the basement, but we were like, we're just gonna go to the Vatican anyways. They probably have cooler stuff anyways. Yeah, cool. So now we're headed to Trevi Fountain, and we are we're walk we're gonna walk there. It's hot, it's hot AF. All right, we're walking. We got these like weird cutout sculpture thingies, and there's one right behind me too. We're going to the Trevi Fountain. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be really fountainy. All right, we're almost there. We got to go down there and then take a right. I'll see you down there and to the right. We're getting really close, guys. You got to walk through like a little market area to get there. I think it's over here. That's my guess. Damn. That's crazy. Oh, you can go down below, but there's a lot of people here. Look at this. Look at this. This is like peak tourism and we're, we're and we are the tourists we're a part of it but let's admire this one more time that's pretty lit all right guys that was pretty cool um the biggest fans are crowds so we got out of there pretty quick oh it's shit there's cool. a car but uh we're gonna we're gonna call that a dub we're gonna check that one off the list we're going to marcus aurelius's uh victory column we're gonna see that because it's pretty close and then and then we're gonna go to the cat sanctuary and then we're also going to go to um the death of Ju the, the the spot where julius caesar died and it was funny because yesterday we walked past it and i saw a bunch of people like staring at it and i'm like damn i wish i knew what i was looking at so i could appreciate it more later that day i come to find out where julius caesar died i'm like whoa <laughs> whoa oh there's a column right there. maybe that's it all right here it is um that might be him at the top. I don't think so. That doesn't look like Marcus Aurelius, but this looks very similar to the, pil uh, the pillar we saw yesterday uh, at the monument thing. But uh, yeah, another one checked off the list. Now we're going to the cat sanctuary. Guys, we were walking and we walked past the cigar shop. So, you know, it was meant to be. We got to we got to pick one up. All right, guys, uh, cigar was a bust. That's OK. I'm gonna be patient, we'll get one later. Uh, we're headed actually to the Pantheon first because it's right on the way to the pa the Cat Sanctuary. John Michael, how do you uh, feel right now? I'm hot. Okay. All right, guys, we made it to the Pantheon. I don't know if we can get in. Actually, I kind of don't want to go in because the line's way too long. We're actually gonna go in because it's $5. Like, why not? We gotta buy a ticket though online. And we're going in. All right, guys, Pantheon was a bust. Uh, we tried to buy an online ticket. It did not work. We tried to buy one four times. It didn't work. So we're going to take it as a sign saying we shouldn't, you don't need to go into the Pantheon. So we're going to go to the cat sanctuary now. Look at cats, even though I'm allergic. Uh, yeah. All right, guys, we made it to Julius Caesar's death spot. This is where, this is where Julius Caesar died. The most yeah, epic Roman stand. emperor and general of all time, or arguably, probably over there somewhere. 
or over there i don't know in this area in this area yeah so yeah like i was saying earlier we walked past this and i was like damn i wish i knew what i was looking at so i could appreciate it so you know once i found out what it actually was we had to come back um so yeah i think the plan now is cat sanctuary and food because we we're hungry. hungry. I made a mistake, and for breakfast I had a double shot of espresso and a tuna sandwich. Not a good combo. Alright guys, we think this is the pet, the cat sanctuary, so we're gonna go in. I think there's a bunch of cats in there. According to Evan Bachman, there's a bunch of cats. Okay, we couldn't get to the cat sanctuary, so we're gonna get food here. Get pizza. Uh, we sanctuary is literally where Julius Caesar died, but like under the street. But we think we have to pay to get down there and I don't want to do that. So I would rather, rather pay for food. All right, so we just left the restaurant. Uh, getting stopped again by, that's because that's the law here. So you you have to, if they stop you and demand ID, you have to give it to them or they could fine you 250 euro. So this has happened twice, once here and once in Venice. Um, I guess it's normal. So yeah, anyways there to the Julius Caesar death site because we think the cat sanctuary is like under the street for that we're gonna go to some like plaza or something like that the pizza we got was pretty mid uh, I'll rant, rant about that in a second all right our stop and frisk is over we survived we didn't get a ticket uh, the pizza we got or at least I got was mid I got a margarita pizza that was literally just a cheese pizza with burnt crust I'm thoroughly disappointed I mean it's still cheese pizza, don't get me wrong, which is good, but like, I'm in Rome, you know? So, John Michael, how was your lasagna? Oh, uh, pretty mid. It's not very good. The meme was that it looked like it was microwave, which I would not doubt. It might have actually been microwave lasagna, <laughs> I'm not joking. Restaurant right there. Uh, anyways, we're gonna head to like Piazzo, Piazza Plaza or something. This is some. This is a random church we just walked past on the street. Uh, this is crazy. Check this shit out. Okay, guys, we made it to the Piazza Plaza, the Pizza Plaza. Uh, looks pretty dope. Um. Yeah, that's this is pretty much it. I've seen a lot of Egyptian uh, obelisks. It's like the third one, uh, which makes sense because I mean they did take Egypt for a while, so they're like, yeah, let's go take these and bring it back to Rome. Uh, that looks like a Brazilian embassy. Nice. Um, we're gonna go over there and see what's up. All right, we made it to the fountain. It's pretty impressive. They put the obelisk on top. Legend has it, if you put money in there, you get good luck. Yeah, every fountain you ever made. <laughs> yeah, John Michael, what do you think of the fountain? Ah, uh, got some crazy shit in there. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Alright guys, we are headed to Spanish Step. It's right there. We're gonna go teleport. See you over there. Right, we're on the way and we saw this like art thing with like a stone. It's a tree with the stones in it. Pretty, pretty cool, I think. Okay guys, we made it to the Spanish steps. We're gonna go to the top, because why not? We got two working legs, we're gonna use them. Yeah. All right guys, we did it. We made it up the steps. Our two working legs worked. It worked. <laughs> it worked. Now the next question is, why is this here? We don't know. All right, this is what a normal church would look like. It's a lot more barren, more realistic. Not as all flashy. Uh, Spanish steps were cool. Not as cool as the uh, monument of Emmanuel Victor yesterday. Uh, we're gonna head to. We're gonna head to this castle. This traffic. So uh, we definitely did not just walk in the middle of an intersection. Uh, we're gonna go to this castle or fortress or something and get ice cream on the way. I mean gelato. Yeah, we're gonna get gelato on the way. It's also really hot out, like really hot. 
But since our uh, room has no AC, we're about used to it because even when we're sitting down in our room, we're still sweating. So, you know, it is, it is what sweating. it is. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're somewhere. Thames. This is not the Thames, bro. That's in France, bro. No, the Thames is in France. No. All right, ladies and gents, we just took a break. Now we're headed into the castle. Uh, the, the plan, we have about three hours to blow before we can join our tour group to go into the Vatican. Why did we do a tour group? Because we didn't have a choice. Uh, apparently you have to book a reservation or your ticket months in advance to go to the Vatican. But you can get a tour group and go whenever you want. So we gotta wait till 7 p.m. to go to the Vatican. If we could squeeze three hours out of this thing, or at least two, at least two, and then, and then, I think the Vatican's literally right there. So, uh, yep. I saw a Corona sign down here. Maybe we can go drink Corona. Alright guys, we made it in the castle. A lot of walking, because it's a castle. <laughs> well, it's like a fort and a castle, so it's like tall. Uh... We don't know where to go or what to do. See, this actually had a purpose. This wasn't just like a palace where people lived and flexed. Like, I can bet you there's probably not a revenge room in here. <laughs> but, uh, definitely pretty big. Alright, so we're up here. And there's like a restaurant up here. You can also look out and... This is uh, something. All right, guys, this is the treasure room. As you can see, they got massive treasure chests. It's kind of like in Fable 3, the treasure room. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. We're going up. I think we already made it to the top. We're going to go there next, Vatican City, at 7 p.m. Nice view of Rome, though. It's a beautiful city. Oh, we got some pictures of Jesus. Oh, we got some drawings of like construction and like torture. It looks like something from like the Lord of the Rings when they go to Sauron and there's the orcs and they're like spawning all the orcs and stuff. Here we got an OG uh, executioner, executioner outfits with the sword. The sword of justice. That's right. You gotta show them, show them who's a. Uh... All right, we got a bedroom, prayer altar, Jesus again. Men's Pontamax hymn book. Look at this crazy, like, steampunk gun. This is like literally steampunk, bro. Look at that. Bro, how does that even work? I don't, I don't know. All right, we got our NATO flag cannonball. This is the fort, it's a big circle, which is quite impressive, to be honest. Um, Italian flag, to be honest. That's cool. We got angled holes here. See, they knew what was up. We finished this in about an hour, so uh, we're gonna go get gelato because we forgot to do that earlier. Um, it's fucking hot. It's really hot. Uh, oh my god, I'm getting I'm sunburned. You can see it. Damn. Uh, okay, guys, we got gelato. Uh, Vatican right now. Oh, hard rock. Sorry, Hard Rock Cafe first. Hard Rock Cafe first, then the Vatican. Um, we still have an hour and 20 minutes to blow. All right, guys, we're on, we're on the Vatican grounds here. Uh, we're going to go find some shade to relax in until we can go inside with our tour group. All right, guys, so we made a minor mistake. Our Vatican tour is not till the 7th, today's the 5th, so gotta, gotta we didn't, yeah, we did, we, we did not get to go to the Vatican, which is fine, we'll go on the 7th, um, so now we're heading back to the Airbnb location, we're gonna get dinner, uh, I got cigars, the dude who's running the shop was more, like, interested in having this, like, conversation or argument with this other dude, 
rather than selling me the cigars. It was a really goofy interaction anyways. Um, oh yeah. Alright guys, uh, we took another L. Uh, but this made up for it. We got to see some like old aqueducts. Roman aqueducts. And a gate. Uh, so the L we took was... One, we... The Vatican, uh... It was scheduled for the 7th, not the 5th. Two, we tried to take the bus back to our Airbnb and it is jam-packed. So we're like, alright, wait for the next one. The next one showed up like 20 minutes late, like literally. And it was still, it was actually more packed than the first one. So now we're walking 40 minutes back to the Airbnb. Um, yeah. So, yeah. We're going to enjoy it. See, look at the aqua. Yeah. Beautiful. Good afternoon, ladies and gents. Uh, it's another day in Rome. Fucking hot as shit. Hot. Probably hotter than any other days we've since we've been here. Uh, so, anyways, today's our last day of like doing stuff here. Uh, so right now we're headed to the crypt. There's like a church, and they have monks and shit. And then they like took their skeletons and they put them in cloaks and then they and then they made a crypt and they put like skeletons everywhere i don't know it looks crazy so we're gonna do that first we did like 90 percent almost 100 percent of this like must see you know site tour thingies so we had to really scrape and like look for uh something that wasn't uh yeah that wasn't already done anyways so we're gonna go to the crypt a couple other things we're gonna look at and then we today's also vatican city day uh and this time we're actually gonna get to go into vatican city anyways we'll see you at the crypt so we've been getting around by taking the bus mainly and i looked up how to get to the crypt and they're like caution the bus drivers are on strike so you might not be able to take the bus essentially and i'm like damn and like even when the buses are running normally, they're still super packed. Like, super packed. Kind of like, think of, like, Japan or India, where they're, like, shoving people on the trains and shit. Like, that's that's how it is. Um, so, fingers crossed that uh, we can even take the bus, and it, hopefully it's not that crowded. Alright, guys, we already took an L. The, the bus drivers are on strike, so the buses aren't running. So, that means we can't go anywhere. So, the new plan... Ooh, the new plan... We're gonna go back to the uh, the Airbnb because we have like the fastest internet I've ever seen. It's like 250 megabits a second. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna download a bunch of scooter apps and then we're gonna scooter our way around the city today because we can't take public transportation. Uh, yup. And uh, get some food. That's probably a good idea. All right, guys. Problem solved. We got our scooters. And we're moving. We're doing. We're gonna. We're going. We're going places. Where we were a couple days ago, the Aqua Duck thing. Uh, and we're headed to a burger joint, and we're gonna go to the crypt. All right, guys. We made it to the burger joint. The best burger joint in all the world. Guys, we're working with bacon cheeseburger right here. John Michael got the double bacon cheeseburger. John Michael, how's your double bacon cheeseburger? Pretty good. Uh, so if you guys are in Rome, come down to Malton Spirit. Uh, they got the best burger you're gonna get okay guys so apparently the whole transportation like union or something is protesting today so we can't take a train or a bus anything that's public transport is shut down for the day so we're gonna have to solely rely on walking and uh taking e-scooters and if we really have to a taxi but probably not uh it's 95 degrees uh yeah so, smash that burger, you know what we did. Um, and now we're gonna go to the crypt. All right guys, I'm sweating, sorry, but we made it to the crypt. So this is the first room you get into. It's got a bunch of like holy stuff. This is the outfits. Um, Stop 
right guys, we got lucky. Some of the buses are still running, so we were able to take it and go to this pyramid. This, I think, is an Egyptian pyramid that they took from Egypt and rebuilt here, because why the fuck not? I don't think we're gonna be able to go in it or close to it, but we can admire it from out here. All right, here's the pyramid. Uh, I think we can go over there and look at it from the other side. Oh. Let's go do that. We can't. This is this is crazy, guys. Like, they literally dismantled and then rebuilt this. They they dismantled it, threw it on threw it on a ship, and then rebuilt it and carved into it. That's insane. Quite impressive. We also got a, like an old fort castle or fortification. All right, people are throwing scooters down here for some reason. What up? Uh, we got an old castle too. It looks pretty dope. All right, guys, we found an entrance. We're going to go in and look at the pyramid. All right, guys, we did it. We made it to the other side of the pyramid. I want to say this might be the biggest flex of all time because we're in a graveyard, so I think someone may be buried in there, like have a tomb. That's, pre that's pretty badass. Yeah. Go. what do you think of the pyramid? All right, guys, we looked at the pyramid. We sat down and cooled down for a second. Got some water. Now we're headed to this neighborhood called Travis Stray or Travister. It's a cool neighborhood. We were already there once. We're, we're gonna go back and hang out because uh, Vatican City is like right really close to there. And we have to go there at seven for the Vatican tour. On the way to this town though, there is a like site thing. I don't know, there's like a lookout on top of a hill and you look through this keyhole and it's got a cool view. So we walked up this long steep hill and we're gonna go look through a keyhole. Okay guys, we made it. Uh, we have to wait in line to look through a keyhole. I'm very excited. <laughs> we're only here because it was on the way and we're like, why not? We got no reason not to. Uh, once again, it's like 95 degrees. And almost unbearable, but we're doing it. So literally you just look through the hole right there and then there's a good view apparently. Alright guys, we finished we finished looking through the hole. John Michael, what'd you think of the hole? Oh it was neat. <laughs> it was so cool guys. Um it's definitely worth watching everyone look through the hole twice, take a, and then try to take a picture with their phones. Um, probably t we probably waited for like 20 minutes and watched people do that. Uh, but it was, it was so worth it. It was so worth it. Uh, if you're in Rome, look, come and look through the hole. Don't even go to the Colosseum. Don't go to Pantheon. Don't go to Leonardo da Vinci Museum. Go to the hole. Oh. All right, guys, we're doing our guided tour at the Vatican. We have to go through like TSA security to make sure you don't bring bad stuff into the Vatican because it's technically its own country. We had no option but to do a tour group, so we're with the tour group. Um, yeah, we'll see you in, uh, in the Vatican City. All right, guys, so far, it took us 40 minutes to get in here. Someone already decided to walk away, so the lady had to go and find them. Before you even go into the Vatican City, you, John Michael called it. Walk through a gift shop. It's like a bookshop. Uh, yep. So. Okay, so now they let us out in a little courtyard and they said we can go, we're free to roam around in like a 25 yard radius. So they gave us, we can listen. Um, that's our flag over there, the yellow one. Uh, I don't like tour groups, but uh, we don't have a choice because once again we're bad at planning. Actually, we didn't even know, but yeah, you have to book you have to book a ticket for here online, way in advance for when you're gonna be here, or else you're not you're not getting in. So yeah, so the ticket originally is seventeen dollars, and we paid the group one hundred and forty dollars. All right, guys, we're slowly crawling through the uh, Vatican here. We saw the outside of the 16 Chapel, and she and the lady gave us like a history lesson on the paintings. Now we're with a bunch of like old carvings and statues. 
Uh, this used to be the Pope's summer house before it was turned into like the city. You feel me? All right, here's some here's some cool statues. At some point, they were like, yeah, genitalia is not good anymore, so they like removed or covered anything that had genitalia on it. Like, all right, we're finally getting down to the nitty gritty, cool stuff. Uh, I'm already impressed. It's exponentially more cooler than anything else I've seen at any palace or museum. So we got like just room after room of stuff and the architecture is beautiful as well you know the funny thing is they got all this nice expensive history you know whatever but they don't got no ac it's cold y'all this is insane oh what the fuck I, this video doesn't even do justice it really doesn't These rooms are crazy. I don't even know what this is. Alright, here's a quick shot of uh, this room right here. Alright guys, we did it. We're about to go into the Sistine Chapel. We cannot film, record, none of that, so I'll just put some pictures in there or something of the Sistine Chapel. Uh, I'll see you when I'm done. Alright guys, we finished a part of the Vatican City. Um, we did the Sistine Chapel and we did like the Vatican, the, the Vatican Museum. Um, it was pretty good, pretty cool, pretty swag. Uh, $70 swag for the one time, sure, yeah. Would I pay 70 again? Probably not. Uh, anyways, um, it's 9.30, we're gonna go get dinner, we're gonna get a, a bomb dinner, we're gonna, we're doing first, second, third, dessert, wine, all that, uh, courses, courses, first, second, third, all that, we're doing it, we're balling out, uh, and then tomorrow we're gonna chill, uh, I might come back tomorrow and look, go through the courtyard, cause I didn't really get to do that. All right, guys, we sat down at this restaurant pretty close to the Vatican City. We ordered our food. We both got carbonara, and then we've got Jamangra oxtail, veal, veal, ham, and sage. And I got some type of, like, meatballs and red sauce. Over for this long wait, we got a bottle of red wine to pair with the beautiful meal. And, you know, we got to do when we're done eating, get dessert. All right, y'all, carbonara just came out. You know what's about to happen. All right, guys, second course. Got the meatballs and the sauce, and John Michael got a veal, ham, and sage of potato. It's going down. All right, guys, we got our dessert. Got some type of cheesecake. I asked for Fruity Bosco, but I think it's Nutella. And then John Michael got lemon gelato, literally in a lemon. It's literally a lemon. Yeah. All right, guys, uh, post. Vatican City fiasco. Uh, anyway, it's the next day. That's what I meant to say. Um, this little cafe. We're staying right there. And there's a little cafe right here. So we got a uh, cappuccino. I got this like pastry. Oh, I forgot what the name of it's called, but it's like it translates to like a thousand layers. Um, but anyway, John Michael got a cappuccino and some type of pastry. The plan for today is to chill because we get to do another early day to go to Barcelona. We got to get up by 4 or 4.30 and leave um, to catch our flight to Barcelona. So, yeah. The bus strike's over, though. The bus strike is over. Thank God.